everybody. It's Roger, working on cigars. So today I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to make this one a quick one. So today I wanted to revisit a type of video that I used to do. And this is back when I barely started smoking, I barely started making content. I was really into monthly memberships just because I thought I liked the idea. I really like trying new stuff. And the monthly memberships just seemed like a cool idea, like a, a cool concept to just get random cigars every month. But the longer I've been doing it, the longer I started smoking and kind of talking to other people in the community, they would always bring up a cigar and I found myself like on top of the monthly membership, still seeking out all these other cigars that other people were recommending. And I, I kind of, so I stopped a lot of them. The only monthly membership that I really kept because I truly, really loved the monthly membership and that was Luxury Cigar Club, right? I love Luxury Cigar Club. That's the only membership that I've kept, consistently kept all the way through. And that's just because they always provide great value. They always send pretty cool sticks. Anything new that comes out that people are like talking about, like, oh, new releases and stuff, they usually send it. So I just like the idea of it. I really enjoyed Luxury Cigar Club. And when I would compare them to other monthly memberships, it was hard for me to find any that could really compete. So that's the reason I kept it. And I stopped comparing them because a lot of the other monthly memberships, they were so bad that I'm like, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna do the comparison video because this one monthly membership kind of sucks. Uh, and tonight, oh, and actually today's Father's Day. So I'm gonna be smoking one of my favorite cigars. And that is the Arturo Fuente Don Carlos Sharp. Man, I love this cigar. I've never smoked a bad one. So I'm, I'm happy that I'm gonna be revisiting this one today. No better way to celebrate Father's Day than to have one of my favorite cigars. So it was gonna be this or the Etafal. But the Etafal was a little bit on the moist side. So I, I didn't win it. I didn't want to dig into it just because I hadn't dry boxed it and I don't want to, I only have two of them. So I didn't want to risk not getting like the full, you know, the full effect from that cigar. See right off the bat, this cigar is so freaking good. Damn. Now recently these cigars have been popping up here and there on websites and mostly in BNMs. So if you're in a place where it's not, the cigars aren't crazy expensive and you're not in California, you could probably find these at a pretty good price. So if you do find any DC Sharks, man, I say pick them up because this is maybe in my top favorite cigars of all time. This is definitely up there. All right. And the reason I kind of wanted to do this video again is because I hadn't gotten excited over a monthly membership in a, a monthly membership in a long time. And Cigar Hound Dog reviewed a new membership by my cigar pack and it's called the, the Reserva Especial. He did a... He did a review of, of the Reserva Especial pack for April and May. And when I saw the April one, I was like, dude, that's a killer pack. If they consistently can do that, then that's gonna be a, a, an awesome pack. So I wanted to get it. Now there is a, a difference. There is a difference in price and I'll go over all that. But, but for the most part from the cigars that he did sh review, like show, especially in April, they were killer cigars. So that's why I jumped on, I jumped on it right away. So I have noticed that the last, for me personally, that the last three months of Luxury Cigar Club have not been my favorite. Uh, they sent some cigars, some, some obscure cigars, and I know that they say that they're good cigars, but the problem with monthly cigar sub subscriptions is that they can send like random cigars. And even though they may be good, like if they're unknown or you don't know them or you haven't heard of them, like there's less excitement. All right, and that's part of what this is. Like if at the end of the day, if you smoke those cigars and they're good, like that's great, right? That's the most important thing. But for me personally, one of the reasons that I like the cigar subscription is just because if they send stuff that you've been looking for or that you're excited about or that you've heard of, that, that adds to the excitement. And for the last few months, it hasn't been like that, but it's been so good for so long that I'm not gonna you know, discredit it. I'm not gonna cancel my subscription over you know, two months of the cigars not being great. So, um, I, that's why I'm still giving it a chance and we'll kind of see how, we'll see how it turns out, but I'm going to be reviewing it. I'm going to be starting with the luxury cigar club. So as you guys know, it comes in a box like this, right? Luxury cigar club. I do like this. I like the packaging. A lot of people don't care about packaging, but I, I, I do. I like it. And they always send a card like this and it always has the cigars in the back where they're from and you know what the cost is what the MSRP is for those cigars. So I'm gonna be going over the cigars 
from Luxury Cigar Club, right? All right, so the first cigar here is the J London Gold Series. Now this cigar is actually an LCC exclusive, Luxury Cigar Club, you can see down there at the bottom. And it's a Bellicoso Fino. And it's a cool looking cigar. Like I, I saw it and I'm not, I don't smoke a lot of J London, but I, I mean, it looks cool and it does catch, it does pique my interest. So that's why I think it's, it's okay. That cigar right there, MSRP is for $20.20. These are rough estimates. I just check online. I don't check what the average price is. and what the, I, just, I just look it up real quick. Whatever comes up first is usually what I jump on. Next is this Warped Don Reynaldo, and this is the Diez Años. It's another cool looking cigar. I do like Warped. I enjoy Warped. Uh, cigar Carpenter actually sent me this cigar. So luckily now I have two of them. I'm interested in trying this. Looking forward to trying that cigar. This cigar MSRP is for 24 bucks. Now this cigar, I've never heard of this cigar. This one's the Stolen Throne, but I have been seeing this cigar pop up here and there, but I had never heard of it. To me, it looks like a, like a, like a Caldwell cigar, but it's Stolen Throne. And this one is the Crook of the Crow. This cigar here, MSRP is for around 12 bucks. Now this cigar has been, this next cigar, it's got a bit of, it's, it's, it's a bit of a polarizing cigar because most people though don't seem to like it. Most people don't like it. Very few people really said that it's really good. So it's hard to say, man. This is an Adventura and Adventura is, is a cigar brand that usually makes a lot of, you know, unknown hitters. People tend to like most of them, but uh, I don't think they're anybody's favorites except for like the Queens Pearl. Everybody seems to love that cigar, but this one right here is the Chancellor. And like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit interested in trying it because it is, it does seem like an interesting cigar. And I know even though a lot of people don't seem to like it, you never know if you're going to like it. Right? So this cigar has always interested me. So either way, I probably, I imagine that I would have picked one of these up at some point. And this, this cigar MSRP is for $17 and 10 cents right around there. Finally, this cigar, this last cigar, this cigar to me is, this cigar to me is another one that's really cool. This is a La Palina and I tend to like La Palina, not all of them, but a lot of them, they are, you know, they're not very known and they're not like super popular cigars, I think, cause I don't hear a lot of people talking about them, but they are, they are good cigars. They make really good cigars. This La, Pal La Palina is the 1948. It kind of reminds me of the Rocky Patel Age Limited and Rare, but I have uh, high hopes. For, I have high hopes for this one. I'm hoping this one's better. So we'll see. The, a few of the La Palinas that I've had, I, I've liked. This band work looks a little bit different than most than their average kind of looking bands. So it looks a little bit different. Now, all these cigars, all these cigars, in my opinion, are good cigars. Like these are all cigars that I would have wanted to try at some point or cigars that I imagine I would have picked up if I would have ran into them somewhere. I didn't go out and seek any of those cigars out. Like the Warped, I think I, the Warped I was interested in trying, the Chancellor I know I was going to try, and the J London, the Crooks, the Crooks of the Crow, I imagine I would have wanted to try that one at some point if I kept seeing it around. The La Palina, because the band looks different, I don't think I would have ever imagined buying it. So it's a good thing that I got it. And then also the J London, I just don't buy J London cigars. So I don't see myself picking that one up specifically, but when, when I have it in hand, it looks like a good cigar. So I, I, I am just interested in trying it. Now the luxury cigar club, this is the Sapphire membership, right? The Sapphire membership is 70 bucks. At the end of the day, I end up paying like $76, 76 something usually at the end of the day when I get it, when I receive it. So I just, Round it out to $76. So $76, if I add up all the cigars, those MSRPs, it comes out to $95.50. So again, I've never gotten a luxury cigar club membership where the value isn't greater than what you're paying, which that's cool because when I was getting a lot of different memberships, most of them are right around the price that you pay or they're way under, which I'm like, dude, how did you, how did I spend 60 bucks on a membership and the cigars MSRP? 
for like 50 bucks or 48 dollars like that was the, the craziest one to me that that was a stupid membership so there is memberships like that and luckily with luxury cigar club that's never happened they've always been worth more than what you actually than what you paid for the membership so to me that's a great benefit and the next and so my cigar pack the Cervas Especial it comes in a big old box like this right and I think it's cool right S -s some people don't care about packaging like I said some people if you don't care about packaging this may be something unnecessary to you because at the end of the day I am probably just gonna throw this away but I, I still think it's cool I still think it's cool that you get like a nice little box and it opens up like this and it's got you know the bag is in here and then it comes with a detailed like overview of the cigars that you got in there right it comes with like all this gives you the size and overview on the cigar and uh, I think it's cool man I like it I, I like this just keep in mind this membership is a hundred bucks a month that's including shipping and everything so it is a pricey membership so first we have this patina patina oro de nicaragua and i think this is just like a toro patina to me is like hit or miss some of them are cool some of them just seem like whatever to me they don't they don't really attract me but most of the patinas that i've had have been pretty good so this cigar is you know it's whatever this one msrp is for around 12 dollars 80 this next cigar i was happy to get I don't know why I was happy to get this cigar because I've smoked like maybe two bandoleros. I've smoked like two of these cigars before, not this one specifically, but I don't know why. I just think these cigars are cool, right? And this is the bandolero. This is the Siri T number 54. And again, I don't know why I'm excited for this cigar because the two that I've smoked have not been great they are very confusing like the series c series s i think to, like i don't know which one i had i know the first one i ever had i bought it in vegas and it was the cheapest one you can get and i did not like that cigar i did not like that cigar at all and then the next one that i got i don't remember which one it was specifically but i remember it being okay so i don't know why i'm excited for this cigar but i i am so that cigar msrp is for around 16 dollars and 60 cents and here, this, this cigar I'm excited for because a few of the guys, I mean, Peter also has this monthly membership. Matt, obviously, Cigar Hound Dog has this membership and they all like the cigar, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to like it. And this is the Byron Reserva Cinco Años. Byron's are such cool looking cigars. You see, any, any of the cigars that are like in the Atabay range, the, the Byron's, the alfonso's like even the bandolero like they're they're to me they're great man they're cool cigars they have this like they have this i don't know mystique to them like this this elegance to them they're, they're just always good i actually got a really nice alfonso gran selección in luxury cigar club last month i think or the month before that and it was a freaking great cigar so like selected i believe this is selected tobacco People that make like the Byrons and the Atabays, Alfonso's, even the Bandoleros, I think that's all selected tobacco. And they make great cigars, man. I love their cigars. So again, this is another one that I'm really excited to smoke. This one right here, MSRP's for $33, around there. All right, so next, this one is a banger, man. I love this freaking cigar. This is the Placencia Alma Fuerte. And this is the Natural. The, you can't see it in the camera because the lighting's all crappy, but it's like the, the the greenish tint band, not the black one, which I prefer. Some people prefer the Alma Fuerte, the, the black one, and the Maduro, and I, I prefer the natural. This is so good. This is such a good cigar. This is the Edmundo size. This is the Colorado Claro. I think I said natural, but I always, you know, it's the Claro. It's a freaking great cigar, man. This is a, if you have never smoked a cigar, this is such an awesome cigar. Now they have this one in a Sixto, which like is like a hexagonal shape and it's got bumps on it. The way it's pressed, it's, it's interesting. And I used to, every time I used to buy this cigar, cause there's a local lounge that we used to go to for work. 
and they have this one and then they have the six store and the six store is like more expensive. And I used to always say, why would anybody buy that just because of the shape? Because the shape is different. Like you're going to pay more even though they're like the same size. How stupid is that? until I smoked it. And then I realized like they, they taste different, man. They are different. The six is a little bit thicker than this one too, which I don't prefer, but for some reason it just works well with that size and it just tastes different. It tastes so much better. I mean, this is still great, but the six though, I don't know why that's such a great cigar. Same thing with like the shark, right? It's like, this is a Don Carlos. What does it matter if it's got this weird shape or you get the number two, which is like a torpedo. Why not just get the torpedo that's easily available and the same size? Well, they taste different. They're way different. They're, to me anyways, I shouldn't say that like as if it's a fact. For me, the shark tastes different. It tastes amazing. The number two is good too, but like this one. And last we have a freaking great cigar. I've never had this size to be honest, but Atabay is one of my favorite cigars, especially for like when I want a Connecticut that's smooth, buttery, nutty. Like, I don't know what it is about these, but sometimes I'll get a craving for like an Atabay type of cigar. And no matter what other cigars I try to grab because I don't have an Atabay, I'm like, oh, maybe this one or maybe that one or no matter when I grab them and I try to see if I can enjoy it as much as an Atabay, I never do. Nothing ever hits the spot like an Atabay. For me, they are amazing. Like they, this is the closest thing that reminds me to a, a Cuban that I had on vacation, the first Cuban I ever smoked that I really fell in love with. This is the closest thing I ever get to that. Time after time, the bigger sizes always give me the same result. I've never smoked a small, this Brujos. I've smoked a smaller one than this and I did not like it. So I'm curious about this one. And this is the Arabe Brujos. What a beautiful cigar, man. This is such a great cigar. Oh, and I forgot to mention the, the Placencia. This one, this one, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it, but the Placencia MSRP is for around $22.20, around there. Now this Arabe, this Arabe Brujos in this size right here, this is around 28 bucks, $28, all right? So as you can see, the cigars are great, man. The cigars in my cigar pack, this Reserva Especial, they're, they're really, really good. All of them are good cigars. None of these I'm not excited to smoke. Maybe the Patina, I'm like, mm, like whatever, you know, like whatever on the fence about, but the rest of them are, are great cigars. And the Patina might be great, you know? You never know. But okay, so again, the cost for this was 100 bucks. MSRP added up, it's $112.60. Okay, so again, you come out with a greater value than what you paid for them. So just to go over that again, this one right here, and I don't know if I mentioned, this pack is for May. The LCC pack is for May, and so is the Reserva Especial. I am going to begin the June membership in a few days, so I do want to compare those again quickly, and we'll see. The Reserva, you got a value of $12.60 over what you paid for them, right? The Luxury Cigar Club one, this one had a value of $19.50 over what you paid, for, well, over what I paid for it. I think the shipping might be different for everybody, but 19, around $19 and this one was around $12. So all in all, man, like Luxury Cigar Club still value-wise came out on top. Now, is that the most important thing? No, right? Like I, I, I'm emphasizing that just because I know somebody will be curious because I would be curious about something like that. But it's not the most, that's not the most important thing. That's not even what you really should be looking at, really. Well, I shouldn't say that because obviously we're all looking at it. I, I would look at that too. But let's say there was a monthly membership that was 30 bucks. And you were always going to get cigars that are worth like 50 bucks, right? You're always going to pay 30 but get $50 in value or $60 in value. If they were just regular cigars that I could pick up in my B&M any day and they're super available online, I don't think that I would be as interested in the in the pack, right? Because only because they're worth more than what you're paying. It, at the end of the day, that wouldn't matter if the cigars don't interest you. If they don't, if they don't, if they don't get you excited, then it wouldn't then it wouldn't matter to me. There could be a cigar out there that you hate that you don't enjoy at all, and if you can get that cigar at half price, would you still buy it? Like no, right? So that's why the the price thing isn't the most important thing. Um, the reason that I like Luxury Cigar Club is because they send 
they always send new like up and coming stuff usually right the last few months they were sending some weird stuff that i've never heard of and that doesn't excite me but they normally send new releases anything that comes out that's what's going to be in the pack that's why i'm still subscribed to luxury scar club and i and i love them and i don't see myself canceling them unless they really start changing the type of cigars that they send um then i would have to stop it but until then like i'm always excited for for my pack every time it shows up in the mail i'm excited to see what's in there now reserva especial they're not sending cigars that are like up and coming cigars and very you know they're not sending like rare well they're not sending like new up and coming cigars new releases from what i've seen right like this placencia alma alma fuerte you can buy this anywhere like you can just go in there and get it so it's not like a hard to get cigar but it's still a really good cigar right and the the rest of these cigars that in my reserva my reserva pack you can you can buy these online they're not difficult to get but they're all good cigars like if if you like this type of taste of cigars then then that's why i think this pack is pretty special and that's why i'll continue to keep getting it cuz last month in April, I'm not exactly sure what was in there, but I know there was like, there was more selected tobacco cigars in there. There was um, Andalusian Bull in there, which that is crazy, right? Like, the, and Andalusian Bull, they can, some people say they can find them really easily. And if you can, good for you. But for a lot of us out there, you can't find those cigars easily. And if, if it, for me in my area, sometimes they pop up here in the Palm Springs area and they're 50 bucks each, you know, you. you you can buy them at a lounge. Sometimes they get them once a year or like twice a year and you're paying 50 bucks a stick for them. So for you to get that in a, in a pack, like a monthly membership pack, I think it's, it's freaking cool. And that's the type of cigars that I feel that they're sending. My Reserva Special is going to be sending out top tier cigars, cigars that are kind of, you know, higher end sticks that maybe you don't, even though you may like them, you don't want to splurge on them because they're too expensive. But every now and then you might splurge on them. And it's, for me mentally, it's easier to pay like the hundred bucks and then you get them and you're like, hell yeah, like this is cool. Because for some reason buying them individually seems a little bit harder. That probably doesn't make sense because <laughs> that's just how my head works, right? So that's why I like, that's why I like the idea of this pack. Based off April and based off this month, it, they're, it's a great pack. So a lot of this will just come down to personal preference. If you thought the cigars in the Reserva Special pack were good and you could see yourself like, dude, I would love to get that pack and I would gladly pay a hundred bucks to get $112 worth of cigars for a hundred dollars, like then, you know, that's good. And to be honest, the pack that was sent in April was better than this one. If you guys are curious what was in there, go to, go to Hound Dog's video and check out his review of the Reserva Special pack back in April and you'll see that they were freaking great cigars, man. So yeah. That's pretty much it. I'm glad I got to do another one of these videos. Like I said, I hadn't been excited for a cigar pack in a long time or a monthly membership. I wasn't really looking into getting any of them, but this one, this Reserva Especial, it does have an appropriate name. You know, Reserva Especial, like it's a special reserve. I think that's dope. It is true because these are like the cigars that you would, these are the cigars that you would smoke like on a special occasion. Most of them anyways, most of them, right? Um, and that's why I think it's dope. So that's pretty much it guys. Fun video. I'm glad I got to do this thing again and I will do it again for June for June's monthly membership and we'll see, we'll compare and see how those cigars are. I'm really excited to see what Reserva Especial sends for June. So we'll see. All right guys. Thank you. See you on the next one.